Thank you. Thank you. So I would like to present how we detect frustration in decibel on websites. So the idea is to collect metrics from the sessions, reconstruct the session replies, and uh, detect frustration. It's relatively easy, but if you think to check millions of sessions, it's a problem. So of course, the answer is to automate these. But the problem is that we have a huge data set. So the, um, the solution was to essentially reduce an unsupervised problem in a supervised one, training the, data, uh, the model, and validate it. So essentially, we transform the metrics in uh, features of the model. We have two kinds of metrics, so in terms of mouse movements and clicks. So we can uh, obtain mouse speed, um, clicks rate, and so on. The next step is to uh, essentially find good features, so essentially features that can be distinguished between uh, frustration or not. For example, in case of clicks, multiple clicks, consecutive clicks are close in space. And then we pass to training the model. So essentially, once we obtain the good features, we uh, select some journey and we uh, label uh, and we train the model. So at the end, we validate our model. So it's a classification problem. So we obtain this sort of confusion metrics. So what to optimize? Efficiency, precision, it depends from the business. Essentially, if you want to minimize, for example, the number of false positive. So this is the final pipeline we obtained. So essentially. As I said before, we collect the metrics from the session of every user. We, we obtain the features of the model. We pass to the model, and then we report to the website the frustration or not. A small fraction of these sessions are labeled by us, and are used to train and validate the model. So essentially, the labeled data is used to uh, tune the parameters that are that can be read online by the model in order to optimize it in terms of precision of accuracy. Uh, all of this to say that Python helped us a lot. So thank you to all the contributors of the community. And uh, essentially, it represented 90% of our stack. So it used in, uh, in the prototyping of the model, for example, in the implementation of the model itself and of course in all the uh, uh, production deploy, the data pipeline and so on. So thank you.